The question 17 is basically on De Marvis theorem. It is to find the powers of complex numbers in polar form. Let us look at De Marvis theorem formula. Here this is very important to remember because without this you cannot solve it. But there's one more important thing to understand. De Marvis theorem requires the given question to be in polar form. So this is the form. Z is, sorry, R times. See, the cos theta is the real part and there is sine theta that is considered to be the imaginary part. Now, if you do not have this form, you have A and B, A plus B or something like this and some power, then you need to get, you need to get R radius. R is given as these two numbers, see, X squared plus, sorry, A squared, not X squared. You can consider it to be x squared as well, it's fine. a squared plus b squared and the square root of it. This is the formula for r. And in order to find theta, we can use tan inverse of, over here, the second term by the first term. It's y by a, uh, y by x or b by a. So theta formula varies depending on the given question. And we're looking at the formula, the De Maurice theorem. See, it's not that difficult. Basically, if you take the power on both the sides, what happens? Okay, it's not so easy because there's a margin number involved and it's in polar form. It's very simple. The formula is R becomes power N. Okay, that is obvious, right? But over you, you can't take power of anything. It will be cos itself, N times theta, plus I sine N times theta, N. So this is being multiplied to theta. That's it. Now let's look into the problems and you'll understand how exactly to solve them. Here, look at this problem. Imagine this is A and B. Now, this is given to you. How would you solve it? First thing, let's look into the formula. The formula to find R is A squared plus B squared, the whole square root. And I just substitute the values. It is 4 squared plus 4 of root 3. Now here, okay, I forgot to tell you, it's A plus B I form. Okay, don't write I here. Imagine number, it will be undefined. So you just take the coefficient of I, that is B. I hope that is clear. And so you square this up and take the square root. Now put this in the calculator, you get the answer. Let me write for theta as well. What is theta? It is tan inverse. You should not forget tan inverse. Tan inverse of B by A. That means it is equal to tan inverse of 4 root 3 by 4. Now you can find theta as well. So let's use our calculators and solve for r and theta. Here now I have substituted this over here. Square root of 4 square plus, please use bracket when there are two terms. It's 4 root 3 the whole square. Now I just realized I too made a mistake. I didn't press this. Now close the bracket and square it up. The answer is 8. So radius is 8. What about this theta value? Take tan inverse of 4. Now we press the fraction symbol first and then 4 root 3 divided by 4. And it's divided by 4, sorry. And that is the answer. It's 60 degrees or pi by 3. Now here it's up to you. What I personally do when I solve this, I just leave it at 60 degrees. Okay, I'm not going to convert to radian. Let's look over here. Here, please note that whenever the x value is positive or negative, this pi varies. Now here, it's a and b i. So it's not the b value, it's the a value that determines the fate of this plus pi, you know. Basically, if you have tan inverse, the numerator did not need to be positive or negative. It doesn't matter. This is just 4, 3. But if this was minus 4, then you had to add pi. Or we can, if we keep it in degrees, we can just leave it as 180 degrees. But if this is plus, there is no adding. So please remember, it's the A value that has to be plus or minus. See, these are the formulas. And over here, we have converted to pi by 3. But you do not need to do it. Okay, I'll tell you without conversion how we can solve. So we will take the values r and theta. And now let's use the formula. First of all, write it in polar form. So z is equal to what? 
r into cos theta plus i sin theta. This is the form we must express. Z is, what did we get r as? It's 8 cos 60 degrees plus i sin 60 degrees. But please mention its degrees over here, like 60 degrees. So this is the thing. Next, what you do is you have to apply the formula. The formula is very simple. Z to the power n is equal to over here, whatever is there, you have to just multiply. Say, I'll write the formula here directly. Rn, n over here to, multiplied by theta and over here also n. That's it. But what is n? n is 6, right? So now we substitute it. Z to the power 6 and then 8 to the power 6 and what do we have cos what is n again 6 times 60 degrees and plus i sin 6 times 60 multiply this by 60 degrees this is how we substitute the formula like this is the formula right we just substituted the values first we find r theta write it in the polar form that is z is equal to 8 cos theta uh, this is it is r r cos theta plus i sine theta then we apply the maurice theorem and now let's simplify this is z okay not two i'm sorry if it looks like two it's z power six is eight power six it's going to be a huge number i'll just leave it as of now and over here cos 360 degrees plus y three six six times six is 36 and zero and I sign again over here also it's 360 degrees. Now what is sine 360? Sine 360 will be 0. So now don't take risk, use the calculator but I, you, if you know by heart yes you can directly use it, sine 360 is 0. Let's check it in the calculator as well. All you need to do is put sine and 360 degrees remember the mode must be in degree mode and it is in degree mode so i i just type the value in degrees and that's the answer but what about cos just delete it and it's one because cos and you know if wherever cos is one sign will be zero cos sine zero one will be cos zero so here i'll leave this as it is for now and what is this it's going to be one plus this is zero so imaginary times zero is anything multiplied by zero is zero so the answer is 8 to the power 6. Z to the power 6 is 8 to the power 6. Now how do you find what is 8 to the power 6? Simple, just by using calculator, 8 power 6. So that must be your final answer. Let's just look over here. You can see that is the answer, 262,144. Now to express this, this particular given value, in terms of you know using the Maurice theorem with the power, you get this as the answer. See, now there was imaginary number, but we solved it up. So this is why the Maurice theorem is very helpful, you know. But the Maurice theorem is not in rectangular form. It is only the complex form in polar form, sorry, complex numbers in polar form. Let's move on to another problem, just the same so you can try it by yourselves. You can see generally they have used radian mode itself, but even without radian, you will get the same answer. So not to worry about it. Now here, this is an interesting problem. It's a simple, straightforward problem. But the thing is, many, many times you tend to think, okay, this is the A value 12. Okay, B is minus 5. No, the standard form is A plus B I, the whole power N. Okay, so what is A? It is minus 5 plus what is B? 12 I, the whole power 3. So here, A value is minus 5, B is 12. And since this is negative, when we find theta, we have to add pi or 180 degrees. So here what happens is r is equal to square root of minus pi the whole square plus 12 square. This is 12 square. Okay. And then for theta, what we have to do is it's tan inverse of what is b value? It's 12 divided by negative pi plus 180 degrees. Let's just solve these two over here now. All you need to do is square root and please remember the brackets whenever there is a negative sign because otherwise if you put just minus 5 squared it will be negative 25. You will get a math error. So please be careful to put the brackets and over here it's positive so I do not need to put the bracket. It's just 12 squared. The answer is 13. You can see 
radius is 13. But what about the tan inverse, the theta value? It's tan inverse of 12 by 5. And remember, it's not just 5, it's negative 5. And close the bracket and add 180. As long as I'm using all the degrees, it's fine. Now over here, you can write this 112.61 degrees. But what is this 1.971? This is basically in radians, okay? Now, I can get this answer as well. If I just divide this, this is basically 1.97, right? It is in terms of pi. Uh, see, some value it is, we always get pi by 3 or something, right? Here, this 1.97 indicates in terms of pi, okay? We know pi is basically 3.14. So if the answer was 3 point pi, it would have been 3.14 basically. But now, if it is half pi, like pi by 2, that means it is how much? Half of 3.14, that will be 1.7 something, okay? 1.97 times pi would be somewhere over here, more than half. Yes, 90 degrees more than half. It will be more than that, just more than that, okay? Just a little bit more than that, not too much, because this is 3.14, right? Here somewhere. So this much value. But in degrees, it's direct, right? This is 112. So this is what, what we basically get. Now, you can convert these to uh, this value also to 1.97, but it will just be more complicated. So what I personally suggest, again, stick to degrees. You don't need to write it like this. Just stick to degrees. That's more than enough. And over here now, instead of this, I will show you how exactly, you know, you can see over here the answers, they will change. Here now, what they have done is, they have used this form directly, tan inverse of instead of theta. But you do not need to do that. What I would tell I would show you is, see over here, cos 3, right? Cos, the, just the, this part I'm going to solve. Oh, but it's already multiplied. So I'll just do the first term over here. It is 2197. That is obtained by cubing 13. You will get this. 13 to the power 3 is so much. Multiplied with cos 3 multiplied by what was the answer we obtained? It's something 112 or something, right? I'll just put it as answer. And now that is 2035. So this is how we can easily get it, right? So don't no need to write it in radians or anything. Just use the degrees. And even over here, you can easily solve it up. Now I just leave it as it is, but this will be multiplied. It will be 2197. Instead of cos, now we have sine over here. But this answer, now I forgot the exact answer. It was 112.67 or something. So I will just put like that. It's very close. So it's this is not accurate answer. But if you put the accurate angle, like if you save it as the answer and put it, you will exactly get this particular value. So that's how we basically do it. Now, if you use this value, then you need to change to radian, but no need of changing anything. Just stick to degree modes, but make sure you substitute the correct values. All these problems are just like that. But now this problem is very straightforward. Why? Because it's already in polar form, right? So directly apply the Maurice theorem. It will be 4 to the power 4. And then what do we have? It's cos 4 times pi by 2 plus i sine 4 times pi by 2. This is it. And all you need to do is put this in the calculators and so on. Now here, you can change. Now here, if you're using it like this, pi by 2, you ought to use it in radian mode. But now what I would tell you is, now, this is what I do. I hope you're finding this easy, but if you're not finding this easy, stick to changing the radiant mode and solve it. But what I would do is I'll write cos 4, 90 degrees. Why pi by 2 is 90? I'll show you how to convert it as well. And this will be 4, 90 degrees. Now, I will just show in calculator. Here, first to convert pi to 90 degrees, how do we do is, Whatever pi is there, it's 180. And what is it? Pi by 2, it's divided by 2, that is 90. Whenever you see pi, just substitute 180 and divide by the number as it is, you will get the answer. That is in degree form. Now here, the first 
Okay, it's already solved, but I'll solve the inner values first. Cos 4 times 90. What, what I meant by already solved is when we solve individually over here, they are, um, you know, gone off. It will be only 1. So only this is the answer. Now this over here is 1. And what about the sine? Just change it to sine. It will be 0. So it's 1 plus 0 is 1. So all you have to do is 4 to the power 4 is multiplied by 1 is so much. It's just 256. That's how we can directly solve it. So you do not need to stick to the radian mode. You can just solve it directly. But I'll show you if you want to do the radian mode. You need to go to shift mode and then press 4. Now it's in radian. Now I will show you the difference. If I press cos 4 times 90 degrees, look, the answer is not 0. This is an error. Why? It's not an error. It's the correct answer, but it's in radian. So here now I have to use pi divided by 2 and I'm going to get the correct answer. That's 1. Whereas shift mode, I will go back to degree or if you clear the calculator, default is degree. Now look here, this is wrong. I need to put it in, not pi by 2. I have to put it in the uh, this degree form that is 90 degrees. And now look, answer is 1. So you can either clear your calculator, you will come to degree or mode, shift mode and 3 also is degree. I hope this is okay because that is it in this type of problems where you can see all are worked out. Same thing. Now, what is the value of B? There's nothing, so it's 1. I don't think you need to add pi over here. No, because A is positive, right? Only the B value is negative. That's fine. If A was negative, you would have to add pi uh, or 180 degrees. If this is neg a positive, just so much of the formula. And substitution solving so all the problems are same similar straightforward just you need a calculator so this substitution needs to be done write the formula of the mavre do one substitution and directly you can jump to the answer you do not need to do each and every detail substitute everything now you keep the outer part as it is just solve the inner parts and then do it now here again they have done it in like this theta is tan inverse to don't do this in your exam, keep the degree and then solve it up. And here as well, it's similar. Same thing here. And over here, it's easy. Why? Because it's already in polar form. Just substitute the De Maurice theorem and solve it up. And here as well, another easy problem. So that is the end of question number 17. I hope it has been helpful. Again, I'll just quickly recall. You do not need to transform anything to radian mode. No need of changing calculator to radian mode. Get everything in terms of degrees and solve it up. Just make sure your calculator is in degree. To get it to degree, just clear your calculator. The default mode is degree and solve all the problems in terms of degrees itself.